funny because at one point I would have described myself as a hopeless romantic. Maybe at one point I was, I don't know. I'm definitely a romantic. I don't think I'm hopeless. <clears throat> but I also think about all this love stuff a little differently. So, I think of myself as kind of the world's valentine. I'm my own valentine. And I think we should just love every day. Not a Valentine's Day and Christmas. But anyway. I've also known for writing a bunch of sappy, sappy poems before I could write music. And then love songs. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just pop in and just do a handful of them. I don't know how many I'll do before I get tuckered out, but... <clears throat> I have some fruit punch, and uh, I have my guitar, so. But it's interesting, because over the cross no, time of my life, I had so many interesting beliefs about love. Right? I tried to marry every girl I could run into, um, especially back when I was in my preacher mode, because I couldn't get laid until I got married. Right, and I couldn't get married until somebody said yes, and so it was very conflicted. <laughs> my youth, my misspent late teens and tw early twenties, except not really misspent because I wouldn't be me now if I hadn't done all that. Right, but anyway, central message of all this is to be your own Valentine and to love yourself because the only love um, that is a love that starts all the rest of the love up. Right, all of, and when you have that love grounded the lack or abundance of other types of love means a little differently. That's what my experience has been anyway. But here we go. I've written a lot of these songs. So here's, this one's called Land of Bears and Honeybees. Kind of a playful song about a woman that I fell in love with who is from Houston. I met her in a bar in Portland. Wildfires were all around. The sun was shining in a mountain meadow in the middle of a crowded bar. She played it cool, but she couldn't fight it. When the bear broke out the word detritus, I sang some songs. She pats the couch, says, You gonna join me here or what? Fly away. You made it sweeter when you brought it back to me. Fly away in your camel pants, your pink lace bra, defying gravity with the prettiest smile I ever saw. Saw her waiting in an airport bench. Springtime exploded, my heart was wrenched. When it stood at least a year away in the Vegas summer heat. She said, silly old bear, would you like some honey? I said, we could have lots of good fun. It's funny, I won $60 in a slot machine and some respite in her arms. Fly away, free range honeybee. Oh, you took my soul and made it sweeter when you showed me what you see. Fly away. Winter will not clip your wings Cause it's always sunny where you live In the deepest parts of me I'm not sure where I was going When you pollinated me Now the sweetness is flowing In the land of bears and honeybees Oh Fly away, 
Oh, then fly back home to me. I found a meadow where we can lay. I found a meadow where we can lay. I found a meadow where we can lay in the shade of an old pine tree. Fly away. Dance with me and the moon will be our stage. The stars will be the spotlight in your eyes. Dance with me, oh, it'll be all the rage. And when I toss you in the air, all oh, your laugh and your delight will be quite the lunar pair. Play with me and the world will be our toy. The sun will rise and set for none but you. Play with me and I will be your darling boy. And when you kiss me on the cheek, oh, I smile in my surprise. Then we'll tango smooth and sleek, you and I. For this life could be my only and this love could be that chance for a song to tone for me when you teach me how to dance on some starry starry night in a quiet part of France. Love with me and let the mortals watch us move. Let them be obligatory audience. Love with me and I will always love you, my love. We'll laugh in our defense as we dance across the sky against all our common sense, you and I. For this life, could be our only and this love could be that chance for a song to tone <laughs> sorry <laughs> to tone for me when you teach me how to dance on some starry starry night in a quiet part of France you and I when you teach me how to Hello, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. I don't think anybody was here when I opened and was talking, but, um, theme today is self-love, because I think that that's, uh, well, I know a lot of folks who are like, don't even talk to me about Valentine's Day, but I've had years where being single or divorced in Valentine's Day felt bad for whatever reason, but. <clears throat> I recognize now that at that point in time I didn't, wasn't really I wasn't quite loving myself very well and I was letting myself buy into beliefs about the world that are not uh, necessarily true or helpful and when we take in these beliefs about life and ourselves that aren't true or helpful and we give them free room and board um, it shows up in how we feel about our life so so really I sing these love songs, and I think back on the various women that I wrote them for, and there were some of them. I mean, one woman, one woman got like eight songs out of me, and that was the mother of my children, but there are a scattering. I mean, I've written enough of these that it's been, uh, one of my uh, ex-girlfriends has suggested an album of songs of, you know, to all the women I've loved. <coughs> I think it would probably be a double disc, so, but anyway. 
in the early years, it was because I was trying so hard to, you know, be straight laced preacher boy. And I made it, and it got to my wedding night. Oh, this would be a cute song to sing. I'll sing this song. Because when I met up, so my first kiss was in a art camp up in um, uh, Port Townsend, Washington, Fort Warden. And I went in 1984, and I was there as a poet, writing really bad poetry, but I got in. And uh, there was this beautiful ballerina there. And I'd never kissed a girl. I mean, I dreamed about kissing a girl. I thought maybe, you know, someday I might kiss a girl if I wrote the right kind of poem. And, um, and so I had my first kiss there. And then um, we met up again after I'd gone off to the military and I was home on leave. And we had a rather heated night of making out. And then when we met together to have lunch, her burning question had always been, did I make it to my wedding night? Because that was the big deal to me, right? And it was like, yes, I did. But here we go. Beautiful ballerina and her awkward brooding point. Met at camp in 1984. I could still remember, whoa, how the lights went out on Ken's head. Sorry. I can still remember the lurching in my stomach When I looked up and I saw Mary When she first walked through that door And I don't know where the hell I ever got the courage Somehow I made my move, I took my chance Holding hands we walked and talked from afternoon to evening and that night I wrote a poem for her While well, I watched Mary dance I still have it It's called Angel of the Dance Floor It's really bad and I could still taste the magic on her tongue I can still see the moonlight wash her face Still feel her hands move on my shoulders Hail Mary Later on we went to the beach underneath the moon and listened as the waves licked at the sand. We held each other there for hours, then she gave me my first kiss, then my second, third, and fourth or fifth, till we left hand in hand. And I could still taste the magic on her tongue. Still feel the hands move on my shoulders. Oh, hail Mary, full of grace. The next time I saw Mary, her eyes had grown so sad. Her long dark hair was streaked in strands of gray. We ate our lunch and told our tales of love and loss and life. Then I said, hey babe, it's been 16 years and I just have to say, what do I say? Of course I can still taste the magic on your tongue. I can still fee see the moon wash your face. Still feel your hands move on my shoulders. Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace. Only that wasn't really her name. I had to throw that in there to give the song that gravitas. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. I don't think that one's going to be on the album. That's an old song. That's one of the, actually, that is the first. That was the first non-religious song that I wrote, probably. Oh, oh, in a span of a decade, maybe. Um, because I wasn't, <clears throat> I wasn't writing a lot of Ushi Gushi love songs. I was writing a lot of uh, gospel songs. But oh, you know what? Why don't we, uh, why don't we candle this up a little? We got a candle, get a candle going here, a little bit of light, right? Not bad. Hey, I see. Enjoying Terry's with us now. Hey, Terry. 
another uh, happy, happy VD day, Valentine's Day. I uh, got my girls Valentine's and uh, cooked them their favorite dinner. Ramen and rare steak and green beans from the can. most romantic song I ever wrote. The most romantic song I ever wrote. And it's probably not even, it's probably the most romantic song anybody ever wrote. <clears throat> and uh, it's called Catherine the Greatest. I wrote it for Sarah. Not really, I wrote it for Catherine. Super smart powers to turn myself back into a human once again. Didn't I tell you it's the most sweetest song ever? Then, Catherine, if you were a zombie, I'd find a way to cure the zombie plague. I use it all those super smart powers I digested from your gigantic. Catherine, can you hear me calling? Oh, Catherine, I'm looking at you. Oh, Catherine, I think I'm falling into dorky goodness. Catherine. this guy anymore. I mean, one of the things that I figured out is that some of the times that I ran off and wrote crazy ass love songs right after meeting somebody was actually had more to do with my PTSD than romance. But they're pretty songs. So, you know, I think it's uh, the heart, the, the cry of the heart 
and the desire to love and be loved, to know and to be known. It was very powerful. But I think ultimately I had to aim for myself in accepting me and loving me before I could ever get to a place of being able to receive love from somebody else or really extend love to somebody else. Because um, you're drinking from a broken cup. So this is the song. I came home from the first date and was just like, whoa, I'm going to marry this woman. She's going to be the mother of my children. I mean, and it it was so. It was a 14-year marriage, so, right? And beautiful kids, great. I have no regrets. Um, I think that we live the lives we live. And if you like where you stand, then it's hard to regret. Here we go. Don't be afraid I'm not gonna hurt you Tiger, be brave Great adventures await you A thousand ship beauty fills my eyes And every man stares as you walk on your face and I realized Oh Moriarty you will be my dude Don't be afraid I'm not gonna change you Cause I'd be insane To tamper with heart Daphne don't run I won't chase Let's sit in the sun And just talk for a while For I am bewildered By your grace Completely captured By your smile Don't be afraid This is our story Chapter and book face. Good to see you. Oh, and Hector. Fantastic. Good to see both of you. Playing some of the uh, some of the love songs across the, uh, the span of my life. Here's uh, well, I mean, let's go ahead and get in the way back time machine. This was a love song, absolutely. Lonely soldier. Sitting in a huge tile shower room with his new guitar and his Bible. Discovering that being a religious fundamentalist in a big barracks full of 18-year-old men was not making him any uh, popularity contest winner. But I wrote this. This was definitely a love song.
eyes cold away. I'll praise you as I plod along through another long hard day. I'll praise you in the evening when that long hard day is done. Then I'll praise you in my dreams till the rising of the sun. I will praise. I will praise you, Lord. I will praise you, Lord. Nineteen-year-old Ken. I will praise you, Lord. Praise you on the journey to the mountain peaks and then as we walk through those valleys I praise you again your word says that you inhabit praise and I believe it's true I want it said of me Lord that I inhabit praise in you I You, Lord, I will praise you, Lord, I will praise Just on the outskirts of Stuttgart, Germany. So it was a long time ago. <clears throat> I'm a lonely lost boy there. And uh great amazing time in my life. The people that I met and the experiences that I had. Things I only could have learned by being in service that way. Overseas with the army. So what now? <clears throat> Let's see. Believe it or not, this is a love song. It was also my my philosophy of life song now. It was written for a girl I was in love with. Stand with me, place your hand with mine upon the bark of this red tree. Take a breath, let it go. That space between holds all the peace you'll ever need to know. Follow that quiet feeling. Darling, be here now. There's the hint that it's a love song, darling. Be here now. Lay with me on this blanket in the wind while it whispers to the sea. Hold my hand. Look toward home When you need my eyes like that Don't you know you need my soul Follow the heartbeat pounding down And darling, be here now
when the storm clouds fill your eyes and they overtake your smile, I know that you realize, oh, in just a little while, that every single question ever asked about the why or how is simply answered. Be here now, it's true. Getting into the moment is the solution. Because once you're there and your head's quiet, you can find what you need. Watch with me the Harvest moon is rising yonder Past that old oak tree So stand and shout Sing and dance Life's upon you You're alive Every now is another chance It's true Every now is another chance. Follow those freedom feelings down. And darlings, be here now. Follow those freedom feelings down. And darlings, be here. to be here now. I think my love songs took a different turn um, after my kind of big epiphany in 2016. Kind of shifted how I saw everything. And um, I got a little more playful with the Catherine song. And uh, Be Here Now is more it digs deeper into the philosophy but all of the you know their memories scattered there through there of a trip to the redwoods with somebody that I love you know as a, a deciding factor in the creation of the song and you can find me singing a song underneath the same redwood tree where we had put our hands um, somewhere in all my pictures I have a picture of our hands on that tree and um, yeah, so I mean, what happens is life spills over, <coughs> and I have to bubble up into a song. So. I guess this is most my most recent love song. And all of my love songs now have more to them than just the love. I mean, there's a, a metaphorical or, a, yeah, kind of a metaphorical underpinning. And this is, um, now I do this as a fast song, but originally it was slow like this, even slower. So I'm going to go ahead and do it, the slow version in honor of the, uh, of the uh, the time when I was playing it that way, because now it's a fast song that I use as an opener. But here we go. This is going to be my last song. with me, you can choose the stand. 
that we need Put the music on repeat I don't care what song Virginia won't dance with me The moon is in the sky And your eyes are Dancing all night long Oh, you sow your seed And you hope for a harvest You hope for a harvest of love Oh, you sing your songs And you long for another You long for another Just to sing along Virginia Walt Dance with me. The sky is up, the sun is east, and we can move to your heartbeat until I fall asleep. Virginia, won't you dance with me? Virginia, won't you please? Virginia, won't Dance with me, won't you dance with me? Great night.